My name is uh, Professor Benedict Orama, the president of the African Export Import Bank. You are here to Cairo. see Mr. Preston. Maybe you know where to report to. Uh, African Export Import Bank uh, uh, is a strong partner of the Nigerian government in many ways, and of course. Nigeria is a very important member of the bank and shareholder of the bank. Uh, we support in the country in all aspects, all sectors, with the uh, exposure of about almost $12 billion. So we came to brief the president and also um, to pay a courtesy call with the delegation I led, the delegation of the King's College Hospital and King's College London, uh, with whom we are partnering to build uh, our first African Medical Center of Excellence, uh, the project that is ongoing in Abuja. It's a 500 quaternary hospital uh, that we are developing uh, that we expect will help to um, promote intra-regional uh, medical tourism, help stop outbound tourism from Nigeria and Africa to other parts of the world, also reverse the brain drain, and also facilitate training and research uh, within uh, Nigeria and uh, broader Africa. Uh, so we, we, we had uh, very, very fruitful engagements and endorsement of the project by the president. With the economic situation in Nigeria, it, are we expecting any intervention from the Exxon? Yes, our Flexing Bank uh, intervenes all across the value chain. Uh, I discussed with the President the aspects of what uh, uh, we could do to support uh, agriculture and also uh, to uh, support banks, in make sure that uh, uh, we increase supply of foreign exchange to the country to stabilize the currency. Uh, the situation in Nigeria is uh, it's difficult, but it's not unique to Nigeria. It's something happening ac all over across Africa, caused by challenges that started with the COVID-19 and, of course, the Ukraine crisis, uh, the, um, then the uh, rising interest rates and the so sovereign debt crisis that is affecting uh, many countries in Africa. We're intervening not only in Nigeria, but other African countries to help them manage uh, the negative uh, impact of these developments. Uh, uh, for Nigeria, as I mentioned earlier, uh, with a exposure of close to $12 billion, uh, supporting sectors, agriculture, manufacturing, oil and gas, financial institutions, uh, we have the broad spectrum uh, of areas uh, that we can use uh, to further support the country and support the government uh, to stabilize the market, uh, be it, be it uh, prices of food but, uh, or prices, uh, the petroleum prices. What was the response of the president? Uh, the president uh, was very supportive of the work we are doing. Uh, the president also wants us uh, to um, uh, bring suggestions on how to solve the problems that our country is uh, uh, is confront, confronted with now, uh, drawing from our experience from other uh, parts of the world. The president uh, uh, was very, very emphatic on the need uh, to deal uh, with uh, rising prices, uh, to manage uh, the, um, the impact of uh, the rising food prices, mm -hmm. and also uh, to be able to continue to push uh, the development agenda he has set for himself. He's fully, fully focused on all those, uh, recognizing uh, the difficulties uh, that are happening, not only here, but also other parts of uh, Africa, because um, we may be solving our problems here, but if other parts of the continent are not, uh, are not so stabilized, uh, we will not find stability uh, in terms of economics here in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.